Alright guys, we're back with Tosca. Remember, Tosca is the deaf great dame. We've only been collar conditioning this dog for a week, but it's already catching on. You want to do things, everything you do, you want the dog to help the dog understand that that pager is you communicating. If I let her outside, when I go to let her back in, before I open the door, I will hit the pager. So when she feels that, she understands that I'm going to appear. I don't have my sound box collar on. Second, she felt that paper. She understood that was me, and that she was going to get some. All right, let's go down this way. Dog, really, where you can have a silent recall, but I mean, obviously, with the dog is deaf. She does stick pretty close, but. Right, watch out, Ashley. There's a big spider web. Ash, the Ashley character is terrified of snakes and spiders. I tell you. Alright, so we need to develop an all through command. I'm trying to think what we did with the other ones. Maybe it was this. Another bed bit the dust, so hopefully her bed that I ordered. And I kept holding it down right there, you guys. She kind of looked, because she had forgotten where I was. So she wasn't sure whether she was supposed to go to Ashley. In a very obvious hand signal. of the time with the treats. Oh, I just love this dog. You know, if we are going to pet her, it's only going to be in one direction, and we're going to avoid, you know, these dogs do like to kind of lean on you and get petted. But the, the food is the reward. We're not going to count on physical petting being the reward all the time, because it just doesn't have the appeal that food does. So I'm continuing to hold the pager down, you guys, until she's turning and moving in my direction. It's really more important with these guys. You're not going to, if you let the pager up too soon, again, that's like your cell phone. It starts to vibrate, then you don't answer it, and it stops. Then you just kind of go, eh. That's our new thing around here. Could get all, you know, and I'm honestly, guys, I'm getting so over Facebook with all these. Anyone could put the most ridiculous story on there. Someone had one on there. 
Oh, my sister went to the community dog park, no town, no state, and she had a beautiful golden retriever uh, accompanied with a picture that's not even a golden retriever. And oh, it was playing with a Nerf football, and it went home and died from poison. No vet, no accompanying article, no any details. It's all very, very vague. And then all the people, oh gosh, oh look at, you don't notice, if, if that really happened to somebody, they would, there would be a story in the paper, there would be more details. There would be, we took it to such and such vet, and they diagnosed it as such and such poison. You know, golden retrievers, even though that wasn't one, are notorious for having heart conditions. So, uh, you know, it, but everybody is sharing it everywhere. Watch out, watch out. This happened in some, you know, who knows where. And obviously it's just made up, but they all believe it. Anyway, sorry about the rant, you guys. I can't take it anymore. I didn't have the kennel page on there. I would consider just leaving Facebook. You know, then there was this other one, the story from 2009 that they just, the shelf life on these hoaxes is just unbelievable. Anyway, so what we can also start doing, because the recall has the application with the healing. Hi guys, more updates soon.